so much, everyone, for coming and celebrating my father's life. I got here a lot to see. So many old friends, new friends, family members. Um, just a few things. Um, I was with my father when he took his last breath. It was the most peaceful, joyful moment of my life. I tend to think that he was looking out for all of us at that point. He went pretty quickly. And we thank God that he's not suffering. We are having a repast at the house, my mother's house, our family house. Um, on the back of the cards is a little map, and we all appreciate you coming and sharing your memories of my dad with us this afternoon. It's immediately bothered. Son of Hayden. Son of Hayden. In the last days before my dad's death, I'd written this post on Facebook. And um, I'm going to read it because he was unable to come. He's starting a new job. Please <laughs> <laughs> remember him in your prayers. <laughs> so I'm going to read it. And dad read this. Well, it was, my mom read this to him. So he. He was able to enjoy it, and it touched him greatly. My, <laughs> my grandfather was the most amazing grandfather I could ever imagine. I didn't get to know my mom's dad, but this great man, Charles Hayden, made up for everything I didn't have at times. He was someone you could always talk to. He would make sure his opinions were heard, and you might not always like what he had to say, but you could always go. He was a grandfather, a dad, a friend, and a shoulder to cry on for me. He always cared about my well-being and would call a lot. <laughs> That's a scream in text, right? <laughs> to, to check on me. 